Hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and you see the bell icon by it, hit it as well so that anytime a new video is released, you're gonna be updated instantly. Now I'm using the block ratio launcher for about a week now and I must say I really love this launcher. I think it's actually the next big thing when it comes to Android minimal launches and I mean if you don't have it I'm going to show you how you can apply for it because this is kind of like an invite only um, software at this point. You can't go to the Play Store or you can't go to a particular website to download it for free. To get it you actually have to go to the block website that's um, Ratio's website and once you get there, you are going to select your device and you're going to input your email address and you have to join the waiting list. I joined the waiting list, but fortunately my time was up and they sent me an email with my code and the link to download it. So I had to download it and I inputted the code and now I have it. I must say this is very good looking and it's very pleasant to look at. I love how minimal and clean it is as well. And I really love the thoughts that went into the creation of this launcher because every little thing, all the little details here have been well thought through. And I must say, I just love how everything looks. So I'm going to be taking you through um, it in general. I'm not going to go into detail. I'll also take you through how to get it if you have some of the supported devices. The thing was that when you go on their website, they say it supports some OnePlus models and some Google Pixel models like the Pixel 3a, 3a XL, uh, Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. But I did have the Pixel 3 XL, but I signed up as a Pixel 4 XL user and when I installed it on the Pixel 3 XL, it did work perfectly. So, I mean, you can, if you do have a device that kind of falls in line with these other devices, you can apply. And I mean, once you get it, you can try and see whether it's going to work or not. So with Ratio, you have this folder structure that is easily customizable. So you can add more folders. For me, I have work, photography, social media, productivity, games, apps, and finally settings. But you can actually expand it and even make it a bit longer than how it's already looking on my home screen. And once you click it, it opens the apps that can be found in that particular folder. The good thing is that once you long press any app at all, it's going to open a window that gives you more options. So over there, you can see details like the space that that particular app has occupied on your storage. And you can also see data use details and the usage time within the day or within the week. Aside that, you can actually delete, that's uninstall the app or stop, that's first close it. And then you can also um, make the app behave in a particular way. For example, if you have an app that you'd want to click to open and would want it in a landscape mode all the time, you can actually choose that over here. If you want it to remain in portrait mode, you can click that as well. Or if you want it to be set to auto, you can also um, leave it at such. Aside that, it has different ways to show the app. So it gives you the classic uh, look or it gives you the bright highlights. It has the dark highlights or it has the marker, which is this really cool lemon green color so that the app can be very easy to find if you're looking for it in, you know, in the home screen. Aside that, it has a color option. So if you want an app to actually retain its color properties, it can do so. However, if you want to view the app in grayscale mode, you can actually set it here. I did find that it didn't work with my device. Once I click it, they tell me that this feature is not yet available. So I guess it's something that's going to eventually work on. Also, you have the option to hide the particular app. You can actually use your fingerprint. If you do have a fingerprint sensor to lock the particular app, you have the option here. And if you want to mute that app so you don't have uh, access to notifications, incoming notifications or in-app sounds, you can do so here as well. And I like that you can also expand the way the app looks on the home screen. So if you want the app to display more options, you can actually choose expand and it's going to do so, which is an amazing thing. So these are some of the options you have when you long press the app. So once you swipe to the left of the home screen, you'd see a feed and it gives you a lot of really nice details like weather details and you can access some news. You have a converter, YouTube, weather, quant, timer, song kick, notes and tickets, which is also very amazing. Uh, I really love the color scheme of the feed. It has this gray color and I love the lemon green. I feel it's really 
um, makes this um, feed look really, really good. One thing I did notice with the feed is that the widgets are very interactive. So you can interact with the weather widget to see what the weather looks like throughout the day or for the next day or even for the week, which is also very cool. And you can actually interact with the notes app to create some notes if you want to. Now, another thing that did impress me about the virtual launcher is the fact that the developers did think of the fact that people are definitely going to go outside. And I mean, that thing doesn't really work well outdoors because you cannot really see. So they have the sun mode where you can actually toggle um, the whole user interface to have a white backdrop, which makes it very easy to view your apps and all the folders and all that. So I really like that they were very thoughtful. In general, I must say the virtual launcher is truly a game changing launcher because it gives you even much more deeper access into how your phone operates. And I'm really excited about it. I can't wait for it to support even more devices. I really do think that when the virtual launcher becomes widely available, it's going to be the best Android launcher out there. Currently, I love Niagara Launcher and it's not like the other launchers on the Play Store, but I do think that if this becomes available, this is going to be way better than Niagara Launcher. So um, that is what I have for you guys today. What do you think about the racial launcher? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And if you do have any questions about this launcher as well, you can reach out to me in the comment section. I go by the name Soji Gray and I would catch you in the next one.